Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is a memory plan with me for the week of October 25th through the 31st, so it is Halloween week. Um, I am using Scribble Prince Co. Hocus Pocus. It's a reformat that she came out with this year. Um, I'm also pairing it with I'm pretty sure it's called Jack from Planet Hannah. They're not available anymore, so it doesn't really matter the name, I guess. And then Candyman, also from Planet Hannah, but uh, they're in orange and purple. Um, that overlay is from Planet Hannah as well. And I do PR for Planet Hannah, so if you use Carly 15, you can save 15%. Or if you put my note, my name and the notes to seller you can get my freebie if you're buying stuff on sale um so yeah i also brought in some spc header overlays um planet hannah date dots like date numbers um sticky essentials i think um the overlay tapes for the glitter headers as well and the I used three different glitter header overlays because I was trying to use them up so um the last ones that I used are from Planet Hannah um however they are not released yet they will be released Black Friday which is in like two weeks almost from today so Keep an eye out for that. Also being released Black Friday are the um, 15 millimeter strips that I use, like the overlay strips, the bows. Uh, I don't remember what bow number they are, but they are also from Planet Hannah. Um, girl doesn't own a ruler, so because I helped her, she gave me some to try. Um, I'm not sure anything else. Oh, I did day extenders on Thursday and Sunday. And I I don't remember if I struggled, but I definitely screwed up um, the underlay pattern. So, yeah. I also just got out my main planner to see which days I have... Um, with extenders even though I'm pretty sure I screw up anyway but yeah that's that um so I'm just gonna get back get back to answering questions that were asked on my Instagram like weeks ago um and I'll probably get done with them this video because I have like five minutes left with base so let's go ahead I'm not sure if I answered these already so um sorry if I have so secretly underscore planning asked my favorite childhood memory um I don't even know I I have to think about that one. I have like a lot of memories from my childhood, but I don't have like a favorite, I guess. Maybe back when we were in like, when I was in like pre-K, it was in the basement of a high school. And if you live around me, I used to live in um, like the actual city of Syracuse. So there was a high school out there and there used to be McDonald's across the street. So every once in a while we'd take like field trips and walk across the street to go to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, that's a field trip. Um, it was also like really close to the big zoo around here. So, um, I mean, I went to the zoo a lot as a kid, but I wouldn't say it was like my favorite memory. I don't know. Um, I guess my childhood was pretty pathetic, but yeah. Um, 
Maria from LDW underscore plans asked my favorite part about owning my own shop. Um, the fact that I, if I need a sticker for something, I can just print it and cut it myself or, um, like my birthday party, I played beer pong or pong. I don't know what you want to call it, but there was like water in the cups, not really beer. Um, and there's no stickers for that. So I decided to design a sticker for it. Like I could just design my own stickers now because I have the tools and whatnot too. Um, and then she asked who makes my favorite kit format. I'm going to have to say Scroll Prince Co. or Cross Press. They are like the two shops that I actually shop from for kits. Like all the time. Like I don't even remember the last time I bought a kit from somewhere else. Um, I used to buy from Sticky Essentials, but that's just a whole mess that I don't really want to get into. Um, and her kit format's not really the best. She just uses some art that other people don't, so there's that. Um, so, Scroll Prince Co. and Caress Press's full kit, not, um, anything other than the full. And then... Ariel, Ariel Renee Plans, what is my favorite takeout food that you don't get as much as you'd like? Um, I mean Chinese. I almost never get Chinese, even though sometimes it seems like, it sounds like really good, you know? But if I were to order Chinese food, it would either be sweet and sour chicken and, or like a combo meal, which has like pork fried rice in it. Um, and sesame, no, general so, I don't even know how to say that, the TSO. I always think I'm saying it wrong, so that chicken. So, Chinese food, now I'm kind of wanting to tell my husband we're having Chinese for dinner. Then she asked if I could have dinner with any famous person, living or dead, who would I pick and why? Um, Winona Ryder, because she's an icon. And that's all. Um, but now we're getting into the day by day. So I put the month at the top. I did put um, Deco at the top, along with the little bows that come with the, um, <clears throat> sorry, the underlay no not the underlay the bottom washi overlays from plan hannah but yeah the everyone's growth looks different quote sticker is from inspire ever after and then i had like a bunch of boxes on the side so i had no idea what to mark so i used the disney castle from um the september freebie and i actually did write on camera 11 weeks because i counted and didn't want to forget so at this point it was 11 weeks until I go to Disney um and then I did use a jack-o'-lantern sticker for my shop and a Halloween script from Letters to Apollo and then the first thing that I mark on Monday which I did not even write in but the house is from my shop I'm pretty sure I marked that like my son was home from school um don't remember why but yeah and then I marked with the black flame candle from the um I don't even remember is it pumpkin no it's not pumpkin paper co it's um stick with plan co I'm pretty sure is where that sticker's from um and then the start is like a custom for my shop uh, that I started my period and then I used a once more with love grocery ordering 
munchkin and grocery script from Murdoch Talks to mark that I got groceries and then I marked working with a I'm pretty sure her name's Mary from Stick with Plan Co and a work script in Font Choice 5 from Plana Hannah. And then I used a broom from that same Hocus Pocus sheet um, to mark that I went to Hannah's um, to swap stuff. And I used a potion bottle from that same sheet to mark that I got a cappuccino that day. Um, this is also the day that my first PR team app opened so I used a computer icon from my shop to mark that um, they are still open until the 14th of November so if you are interested in applying you can find that link in my Instagram bio which is obviously curly plans is my Instagram but then I did some planning so I used a plan script from letters to Apollo and a um, <clears throat> I don't remember what it's called, but that book from the same Hocus Pocus sheet. And then on Tuesday, the first thing that I marked was that it's payday. Um, and I used a pumpkin from the Hocus Pocus Stick with the Plan Co sheet. And a payday script from, I think it's like My Peachy Plans or Peachy Plans, I don't know. Um, but then after that I marked that it was my friend Gina's birthday and I used a paper milk um, like bo balloon present icon and layered a like the purple um, cupcake which this is off screen I'm sorry but I layered the purple cupcake from the freebie from Lana Hannah over that. And then maybe eventually, I have no idea what is actually going on off screen. <clears throat> but I mark that I was in my bed with my son this day. So um, I used a fox and cactus bed icon and a with Jude custom script from Planet Hannah in Font Choice 5. And then I marked that I did my voiceover this day. Um, and I used a voiceover script and microphone both for my shop. And I marked that I did filming so I used a camcorder icon for my shop and the film script is in font choice one from Planet Hannah. And I ordered a bunch of shop supplies this day so I used a Coffee Monsters Co. I believe it is. Um, I'm pretty sure her name's Sarah. Um, yeah, to mark that I ordered shop supplies and then my cast was still on at this point and it was really bothering me so I used a middle finger icon from Planet Hannah and wrote fuck this cast. On Wednesday the first thing that I always mark is uploading. Um, so the icon is from Planet Hannah and the upload script is from also from Planet Hannah, uh, it's in Font Choice 5. And then I marked that I worked both on Wax and my shop, so I layered a laptop over a little wax melt cup, and that cup's from um, the Fantasy Wax Melt Bundle for, I think it was their Halloween box. Um, and then I watched Hunter Hunter and you see script in Font Choice 4 from Planet Hannah and a TV icon from my shop. I'm pretty sure that I moved this stuff around because that's not the spacing that it is right now in my planner. Yeah, there we go. 
Um, but I use a little bat mailer thing, bat envelope from my shop, um, to mark that my son had a bad day and I got an email about it. And then we had Chipotle for dinner, so I used the chips I got from the Coffee Monsters Co. And Chipotle script is from Bun Bun Paper Co. Um, also, my friend had a Funko like live auction on um, Whatnot. So I attended and I won a Pennywise at Pennywise at yeah Pennywise Funko. Um, but then I marked designing with an iPad icon from my shop and a design script and font choice one from Planet Hannah. And then on Thursday I have the extender. Um, so the first thing that I mark off screen apparently. Um, with a Practical Magic girl from the Coffee Monsters Co. is that my kids had remote learning and the script is from my shop. Um, and this is the day that I had my oldest son's parent-teacher conference. I still, it's like, my daughter and my oldest sons were like five minutes. My youngest sons was like a half an hour. So, yeah, I still mark that. Um, and then I had my surgery follow up this day. So I got my cast off, thank God. Um, but I marked that with a little potion bottle from Stick with Plan Co. And I'm trying to get that to stay down and just not staying down. But I did mark that I got ready. And this is the first time that I actually kind of got ready since I broke my ankle. Um, so I used to stick with Plan Co. Girl. And a get ready script for my shop. And then I used a Once More With Love Munchkin. Like spiraling because when I was getting my staples out I literally almost passed out um that was a weird experience I've never had anything like that happen before so pretty wild but yeah I had like 80 staples in my leg not really but it seemed like it um and I hate to mark that because it's never happened before Anyway, I watched Hunter x Hunter, so I used a TV from my shop in the Hunter x Hunter script in Font Choice 4 from Planet Hannah. And then we had Taco Bell for dinner, and don't ask me why I used a work label for this, because I had plenty of leftover, like, little things, but I did. Um, but I marked it with a Sticky Perks like Taco Bell bag and a Taco Bell script from Planet Hannah and it looks like shit. Um, also this day I used a paper and milk Maru saying yay and layered I'm putting them on movie marquee so I have space but but I layered a one of the icons that were on the freebie in the purple foil um, over the Maru because I hit 4,000 sales this day which is amazing and thank you to everyone who's supported my shop in any way um, but then also I marked carving pumpkins with my kids and the Pumpkin icon is from the Hocus Pocus sheet from Stick with Planko, and then the Carved Pumpkins is from Scarborough Prince Co. And then we watched The Conjuring 3. And I used a little Grim Reaper from Sweet Ava's Paper, I'm pretty sure the shop's called, um, to mark that. And then on Friday, the first thing that I'm marking again is that my kids had remote learning um, and I use the other sister from Practical Magic 
on this day to mark that. And the script again is for my shop. And then I uploaded a video. Um, I believe that was my kit lineup. And I marked that the same way that I did on Wednesday with the Planet Hannah stuff. Um, the day before, though, I got a call from FedEx saying that literally they stated my address to me and was like, the driver says that this isn't your address. I don't understand that, but I called them back on Friday and was like, oh, I just need to verify my address. And they're like, well, we can't do anything. Disregard that message. Like, why would you call me if you can't do anything? Anyway, I ended up getting my package just, like, days later. Um, it was just stupid. Anyway, uh, I used a mad face from Plana Hannah and wrote fuck FedEx because I was angry. I talked to, like, three different people. Um, it was a whole thing. But then I used one of the Hocus Pocus girls to mark working. The same way that I did on Monday and then I listen to music instead of watching shows but I also watch shows apparently um but the headphones are from Sugar Pop Fizz and the listen music script is from my shop and it will be available to buy tomorrow without it being like a custom um and then watch Hunter Hunter mark that the same way and then we watched Hocus Pocus that night and I used girls from Fox and Cactus, I believe. Um, and the Hocus Pocus script is from Scroll Prince Co. And then on Saturday, the first thing that I mark is that I slept in. Um, I use a Fruity Sticker Co. pillow and sleep in script from Pink Diamond Planner Co. Sorry, totally texting in this video. Can't remember why. I was probably asking for my husband to bring me something. But I then use a snowball from Sweet Eva's Paper and a coffee time script from my shop to mark that I had coffee. I don't usually, I always have caffeine, but it's usually in water. Um, so I've been wanting like real coffee lately. So I marked having coffee that day. And then I marked watching Hunter Hunter again, probably while I was working. Um, and I marked work with a computer from my shop and the work script is from Plan Hannah. And then below that, I marked that I had a toothache, and it's, I don't know, if you watched my holiday, you know why, but I used a sweet of this paper, Ghost Holding a Tooth, and wrote toothache. And we had spaghetti for dinner, which I don't normally mark what we have for dinner unless it's like out or whatever, but like. Um, I have these Winston's. I think I got them in a grab bag, and I have them. So whenever I eat spaghetti, I mark it. Not sorry about it, but yeah. The Winston's from Nightingale Paper Company. Um, and then I did my nails, um, with the Kiara Sky, like, gel, jelly tips, I think they're called. Um, they did not stay on. I should probably watch some tutorials before I do them again. But the Nails Done script is from Letters to Apollo. And then the character was from, um, Crafty Planner Co. But she has since stopped doing her little characters. Um, and then we watched The Walking Dead. And they used a Paper Shire Rick. <laughs> And the Walking Dead script is from my shop. And then moving on to Sunday. The first thing that I mark with a little Winston is that it's Halloween. So I use a Happy Halloween script from Planner Choco. 
Chaco. I don't know how to say that. Um, and then I apparently hit my camera and marked that I had the toothache the same way that I did on Saturday. And then I marked working on orders um, the same way that I did on Friday with the Stick With Play Co. Hoax Focus Girl. I'm also sorry if you can hear my computer. Um, I'm using an external mic, so I don't think that it's probably going to be that bad, but it's like really angry right now. Moving on to below that, I marked coffee time literally the same way as before, except for the icon is a little different. It's from the same sheet though. Um, also, I don't know if I said it, but the coffee time script is from my shop. I eventually figure this out um and then I marked that I was in my feelings this day because I I literally just like cried a lot because I literally could not walk I couldn't like Halloween's one of my favorite holidays and I love to dress up even if I say I'm not going to I literally do um so I was having a really hard time this day with it being Halloween and me not being able to do crap. Um, but yeah, I used a Coffee Monsters Co. like Pumpkin Dude and an in, in My Feelings script from SBC. And then my husband got Pokemon cards and we pack battled and the pack battle script and the Pokeball are both from my shop. And yes, I won. Um, and then I watched Dirty Dancing, so I used the munchkins from Once More With Love that are, like, doing the lift to mark that. And then we went trick-or-treating. I scooted my butt around the neighborhood. And the trick-or-treat script is from SVC. And the bucket is from my shop. And then we watched the 2020 Gabby Petito um, thing, which a lot of stuff was not said in... Like, I, I found out a lot of stuff that I didn't know about the case, but I used a TV from Coffee Monsters Co. or Once More With Love for that. Here's everything that's left, and yeah. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!